In the 10 years that we've operated, we've gone a lot farther than just cinema. We're looking at the history of our people, starting with the opening night in 1919 silent film from Sashue Hayakawa in a hope of pushing forward these kinds of stories. The PATH board and the current team of staff and volunteers wish to honor the original founding team of PATH. Joe Kim, Brad Baldia, Michael Wingate Jones, Franklin Shun, Sheila B. Cervantes, Ron Liu, Cliff Song, Mike Donnelly. Big round of applause for the founders. It's really important to be proud of your background and your history. There is a responsibility to tell Asian stories because we're the ones who know what the lived experience is like. All of our perspectives are very varied as well, right? Like my Asian American point of view is going to be very different from yours. So both our stories deserve to be told. If you're trying to like put your head down and, and make a piece of art and tell the truth, you got to mitigate the bullshit. Creating enough power so that you can push through the door. It's so important to have events like PATH where we're bringing together filmmakers and industry folks from all around the field, all around the country. Coming to Philadelphia, meeting Chomps and Sino for the first time, meeting people in the audience and creating that dialogue is the purpose of why we do this. Being here in Philadelphia, the audience was probably the most diverse that I've ever seen it. I hope that it can touch someone in some way, shape or form. And it seems like it's been working, so it makes me happy. This year, a couple of things kind of aligned. 75th anniversary of Executive Order 96. 135th anniversary of the Chinese Exclusion Act. We were lucky to have programs that really delved into both of those topics. I told as many friends as I could about it. And I thought all of the different people that in the film, they each had a different kind of a story to tell. The most wonderful aspect about this to me has been the presence of students. That's made it all worthwhile, don't you think? Yes, very much so. For me, it was quite emotional to really see it on film, to see the camp, because I haven't seen that type of camp since 1946. The healing process is that first you tell your story to feel comfortable with other Asians, and then you get the outside to listen. Philadelphia is a city of neighborhoods where we have very many Asian communities. We're very diverse in choosing films that apply to different Asian communities from many different cultures. Having something for AAPI folks to gather around and connect over art is really, really valuable. The center of it for me is making sure that hopefully the children that are coming up now can see brown faces in ways that are full characters. It's extremely important for us to show the importance of diversity. French Chinese, Latino, LGBT, how communities overlap and how they work together. People have talked to me afterwards and said, I felt empowered having seen this film because I think it's about people who left their home and people can resonate with that even if they're not French, they're not Chinese. It's a much more universal story and I think that's the power of film. It's very important for us to tell the untold story and also give a voice to the voices unheard. Anytime you elevate an understanding of a different culture into a more personal level, it starts to have meaning for you, it starts to have resonance. We've got to tell stories that bring people from different walks of life together because that is what's reflective of reality. It's important for us to have voice, but more important is to speak in the authenticity of your individual uniqueness. This is so vital, it's how we move culture forward. You sort of feel like now more than ever, we live in a very difficult period of division. And art is that unique way that can remind us of our common humanity and can bring out and inspire the best out of us.